Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to prep your nails and how to apply clear builder in a bottle. So I've already took off my old existing polish just with a file and I've left a really thin layer of builder in a bottle on my natural nails. I'm going to go in with a 100 grit file and I'm just going to file my nails into shape. You don't have to be super perfect with this stage as I'm going to refine them later on. Taking a cuticle pusher, I'm going to push all my cuticles back. Going in with some cuticle cutters, I'm just going to cut back all those cuticles around my nails. So I normally get a build up of hard skin around the free edge of my nails and um, so that's absolutely fine to nip off with the cuticles just as long as it's hard skin and it's, it's not live skin. As you can see, my cuticle cutters are a little bit blunt and I think I may need to purchase some new ones. So going in with the gel bottle buffer, this is 100 and 180 grit. I'm just gonna buff all the nail plate, make sure it's free from any cuticles and making sure it's really nice and smooth so I've got a really nice base to work with the first stage of product. Using acetone on a cotton pad, I'm just going to clean all my nails. So the first step of using clear builder in a bottle is you have to go in with a rubber base. So this rubber base is really important. If you don't apply a rubber base with the clear builder in a bottle, you will get a lot of lifting. So just using a really small amount of rubber base on all the nail make sure you go really nice and close to your cuticle but not too close where it's going to cause lifting and to make sure you cap all those ends Going in with the builder in a bottle, I like to apply only one coat to my nails as I like them quite natural and quite thin looking. If you want them a little bit more robust and a little bit more stronger and a little bit thicker, you can go in and apply another coat once the first coat is set. Because the product is quite runny, I tend to do three nails at a time or two nails at a time and then put my hand in the machine to set. As if you work quite slow, by the time you get to the last fingernail, your product has ran into your cuticles. So it's quite important if you don't work super fast to set your nails in twos or threes. 
and then we set that in the machine. So using prep and wipe, I just take all the sticky layer off and I can begin to refine them. So some people are absolutely amazing at using Builder in a Bottle and don't find they need to refine it once it comes out of the machine. I always like to refine mine. So I'm just going to apply the cuticle oil to the nail beds and this is the builder in a bottle finished. If you was to go on and paint the nails after you've applied builder in a bottle, you wouldn't apply cuticle oil. Um, but I finished my look for today so I'm going to go ahead and apply my cuticle oil. Thanks for watching, please remember to like and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you.